know, I wouldn't do it if I didn't think there was some reasonable hope that within my lifetime we're going to pick up that signal that tells us what we want to know. This little speck of metal is picking up signals that might be coming from hundreds of trillions of miles. It's like a tin can with a string that runs up a hundred trillion miles. We could hear a cell phone on Jupiter, if there were any. That's how sensitive this system is. What we're listening for is not so much the aliens per se, but their equipment, if you will. We're listening for a transmitter. They don't know we're here because the only way they could be aware that there's some sort of technically sophisticated critter on this planet is via the, the television and, and the radio signals we've been sending out. And we've only been doing that for a half century, so those signals are not terribly far out into space. If they actually came here, I would be nervous. Certainly, the experience on Earth has been that when explorers come to visit you, that's usually bad news for you. Uh, you know, I'm thinking of the Native Americans when the Spaniards landed on the coast. They didn't meet your average nice guy Spaniard who ran a restaurant in Segovia. They met the very ambitious ones who were interested in your gold or your women or whatever. It's unlikely that they're going to be, you know, the size of a thimble or something like that because by definition, they're going to be intelligent, otherwise we're not going to find them. We're not going to find cockroaches on somebody else's world. Those guys are not building radio transmitters that we can pick up with our, with our big antennas. So they have to be brainy. And in order to be brainy, at least on this planet, you need a certain number of neurons, a certain minimum brain size, and that rules out them being very tiny. Uh, it's also unlikely they'll be very large, because you, you get very large, you get into other problems. You can't stand up so easily, it's hard to wield uh, uh, tools, uh, you use too many resources and so forth. So, you know, they'll, they'll be bigger than a bread box and probably smaller than an elephant would be my guess. Well, I think it's going to happen. I think it may take a few decades yet, but it isn't a, I, to me, it's not a question of waiting centuries. I really think it's, it's within sight.